In this video, I'll show you how to replace the cursor image for your cursors of your screen recordings in Camtasia for Windows. This is a new update in Camtasia, Camtasia 2022.2. Now, it's really handy, especially if you want to use maybe Mac cursors uh, to replace your Windows cursors. Really, really awesome and handy. So let's just drag our screen recording onto the timeline right here. And once we do, let's select our uh, screen recording down here click on the cursors and then there's a new option available here it's called the cursor you'll be able to see the active cursor here and then there's a drop down where you move the playhead on the timeline to view the changes on the recorded cursors and also there is the option to add some uh, uh, cursor image keyframes etc and you can still move forward to view the next cursor for example in this we have this particular pointer and if you move forward there's still the pointer right here if we move forward again, we have this one that looks uh, two arrows pointing up and down. We keep going on and on and on. Really depends uh, on the cursors that you want. So that's the first part. The second part is that when you click on this particular drop down, you'll be able to see a couple of options here. You'll be able to see the option to replace cursor image either with current or similar cursors or all the cursors you may want to replace with now the options from down here either the recorded cursors windows cursors or mark cursors so for example let's say we want to replace all cursor images with this particular uh, cursor let's click on that and once we click on that all the cursor images available in this particular uh, video are going to be replaced with this one mark cursor this one with a pointer and a, a, a circle that looks more or less uh, like a shaded circle or whatever so it's really really handy especially if you wanted to do that uh, we can do Control z to change that but if you wanted to go for maybe similar cursors uh, let's say we go for cursors that look like this uh, to be uh, this particular option that is good and then we can move next uh, let's say we have this particular cursor and say for this particular cursor, we, we go with something like a plus. So that changes to a plus. Let's see what we have next. I don't think we have any, any other different cursor available. Uh, I don't think so. It's just those two. So when we look at uh, our, our cursor updates, we have this cursor. Move to the next. Move to the next. Instead of the double-sided arrow, we now have a plus. ETC. A really, really handy tool feel free to actually play around with all these and see what results you can get uh, inside Camtasia for Windows. This was availed in Camtasia for Mac a while back, uh, like a month ago, uh, but it's good to finally have uh, the option to replace Casa image in Camtasia for Windows uh, with the different images available for us to use. That's it from me. I hope this tutorial is of value to you and thank you so much for watching.